President Obama said that Americans want 2014 to be a year of action. Let's make this a year of action. That's what most Americans want. At Heritage Action, we agree. The Electronic Communications Privacy Act, H.R. 2300. American Health Care Reform Bill. The American Energy Renaissance Act. Protecting American Taxpayers and Homeowners Act. The Transportation Empowerment Act. Choice Act. The Higher Education Reform and Opportunity Act. The Merit and Religious Freedom Act. 2014 is not just a year of action. It's a year of actually making progress on issues that will help all Americans. If you are on the wrong road, progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. And in that case, the man who turns back the soonest is the most progressive man. The conservative movement really is at its best when it's all about ideas. We need to have bold ideas. Americans are desperate for bold ideas. They're desperate for bold ideas that aren't about left, they're not about right, they're about uniting Americans and making life better for all. That's why we brought together leading members of Congress to talk about specific conservative policy initiatives with the goal of showing Americans what a bold, forward-looking, winning conservative reform agenda looks like. You see, when conservatives try to stop wasteful spending and cumbersome government programs, it's not just about debt and balance sheets. It's about making lives better for everyday Americans. If we want to have a serious debate about people, Let's have a debate about the foundation on which they stand. Let's have a serious debate, not about how to make more Republicans or make more Democrats or have a political conversation. I want to have a conversation about the future of a, of a country and it's based on our education. Right now, learning is variable and time is fixed. We need to flip that equation so learning is fixed and time is variable. And I think that's what online learning and school choice writ large really help us to do. We are seeing the beginning of an American energy renaissance. And if the federal government doesn't get in the way and mess it up, that has the potential to transform the situation for so many people who are struggling. Ten speakers, ten solutions, from education to transportation to health care reform, all focused on helping the American people. This bill is about teaching people those qualities to help them do things the right way so they can experience the American dream, so they can better their lives and their families' lives. Let's incentivize states to have work programs that actually make a difference in people's lives. Patients and families and doctors taking care and making medical decisions, not Washington, D.C. If, if you want to talk about social justice, if you want to talk about empowering the poor, about taking care of those in need, you have to let people do that in accordance with their values and not immediately penalize them um, through threat of government penalty if they're going to do that in accordance with their religious beliefs. Health care is a Republican or a Democrat issue. blows my mind. I, I've never seen a Republican or Democrat heart attack in my life. This has to be changed from the American people standing up and, and saying we want our representatives to represent us, not the party. We want us, our representatives to represent us, not the administration. These ideas are ideas rooted in freedom and opportunity. Just because you believe that God created man and woman and created a certain traditional um, marriage ceremony that you're not going to have your tax exempt status taken away from you or your contributors. Never before has it been more important to stand and be counted among those who recognize that our natural rights are God-given, not given to us by any government. This will help level the playing field between big and small financial institutions and help protect consumers by giving them more choices. A little competition would be good for everyone, but the goal of reform should be to build up, not to tear down. The Conservative Policy Summit showed that conservatives want action too, but we want action in the right direction. We have the right answers, and that is why we continue to fight. It is about freedom. It is about opportunity. It is about sustainability. It is about keeping faith with our founding fathers and our forefathers so that we leave our children in America where they are bound only by the size of their dreams.